just about told my update in my intro, and lads, you know the cheapest and only place to get your ultimate team coins. Make sure you head over to ayoha.com, link in the description, and make sure to use the code GONF for a discount. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another squad builder. Yes! We have another one, and for those of you who are new around here, this is the channel where you lot tell me what squad builder on FIFA that you want me to make. I'll go out and make it, and if I pick you, you'll even win yourself something. I want you lot to get over and follow me on Instagram. It'll be on the screen. Get over there, suggest me comments, follow me on Instagram, and I will be handing out gift codes and FIFA coins all week to those of you who follow me on Instagram and come up with some good suggestions. So drop me a message, and make sure you're following me on Instagram. But not only that, lads, today we're going to be taking a look at some of the best goal line clearances, and we're going to be debating whether you think they're a goal or goal line technology. Sometimes you just can't tell. Sometimes players are putting their neck. Their, their neck. Yeah, look at the size of this neck. On the line to stop the ball from going over. As usual, I want to thank this guy on the screen. Yeah, you see him right there chilling. He suggested me the team. He's a legend. Thank you, bro. I love you. This is a sick idea, and I'm gonna do it. If any of you out there would like to win an exclusive pair of nail clippers that have trimmed my toenails, all you gotta do is drop a like on today's video, and this limited edition, one of a kind, disgusting, crusty nail clipper, solid silver, could be yours. Drop a like. But into today's squad builder starting us off is going to be Joe Hart. If he ain't picking dandruff out of his hair, he's picking the ball from behind the net. This guy has superpowers. I've said it for years. Joe Hart is weird. He's a grade A weirdo. This was Joe Hart's ridiculous save against Slovenia. And he somehow, as you all just witnessed right there, if, if you want to sit there and try and question how he did it, I can't explain. I have no idea. But what I can tell you is Joe Hart had secret powers. Was it a goal? I'm not sure. Goal line technology? You're gonna have to do your work because that was ridiculous. Apparently he, the ball had gone behind the, the, the post and he got his, I don't even know. It's just some wizardry, Joe Hart's a weirdo. It was also a time back in like the 60s. Nah, nah not the 60s, not the 60s. Like a couple of years ago when Carlos Puyol was the last line of defense. And what does Carlos Puyol and his big spaghetti head do? He puts his neck on the line to save this. He doesn't use his hands, he uses his body. Like a fucking fish. This is Carlos Puyol. This is what he can do. Up against pressure, one on one, and he just makes the save. That is absolutely phenomenal. How the hell the guy doesn't score? I don't know. How Carlos Puyol manages to save this? I also... Don't, no, it's not even handball. He literally saved it with his chest. Look at this. The guy had the whole net to aim for. Carlos Puyol was the last line of defense, and what does he do? The captain stands up strong, and that is why you're dealing with one of the bravest defenders to ever do it. This guy will stop anything from going past him, even a fucking bullet. But some say what Carlos Puyol can do, Jerome Boateng can do too. The only difference is this guy's big and black. Puyol's small and stocky. I boy, I wouldn't mess with any of them. Anyway, this happened in the Euros in 2016. Ball's looking like it's going in. Jerome Boateng somehow falls over, gets his balance back, and flicks the ball off the line, all in the same movements. Ask me how he did it. I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you. Black people have powers, and Jerome Boateng has special powers. Not only is he overpowered on FIFA, somehow he clearly is overpowered in real life. Was it a goal? I don't even know. They weren't even VAR in 2016, so I'll leave it up to you to decide. But either way, it is an absolutely incredible goal line clearance from the big, the black magician, Jerome Boateng. But now we just get silly. Now we just get stupid. For a start, the dude's name's Ben Me. When I said it gets stupid, I mean, just look at his name. Anyway, moving on from Ben Me and his shit name, this guy is an absolute warrior. I'm telling you, he may not look like one, yeah, it's funny. he looks like a little posh boy, fresh out of Harvard. Oh no, I mean, wait there. If, if you were gonna come up against a fight with someone and you saw this dude, and his name was Ben Me, and you know you got a boxing match or a UFC match against this guy, you, 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 you think you're guaranteed win? No, wait until you see what this guy does. He's a warrior at heart, mate. Don't get it twisted. Redding versus Burnley 2012, Ben Me put his face in front of the ball. Like, I just don't get it. Watch this. Look at this, what? 
He did a John Terry. He did the salmon. Not many people have ever repeated the famous salmon. If you can do that, if you're prepared to snap your neck in the name of stopping the ball from going behind the net, behind you, into the net, over the goal line, you are a warrior. So Ben, me, I respect that, mate. I, I'm sorry for taking the piss out of your name. I'm sorry for saying you look like a pussy because you're clearly one of the bravest dudes in his team, mate. Fresh out of Argentinian slums, we have got Giulio Buffariani, or Buffarini. This guy made one of the most complex goal line saves I've ever seen. He knew the ball, the weight of the ball, the pace of the ball. He couldn't just kick it out. He had to hit it in a specific way where the ball would like roll past the post. Like if you want to watch it one more time, just so you know what I mean. So the ball was going so fast, he knew he had to hit it in front of him. So then the ball rolled past the post. It was genius. Like he knew exactly what he was doing. So for me, I think that's just, it's, it's genius. And it was brave and it was just another great goal line clearance. I mean, they're all so hard to pick. That one clearly wasn't over the line, but the rest of them, it's so nip and tuck, you just don't even know. And we're gonna move up to the midfield and it doesn't get any weaker. The goal line clearances get just as good, even if better. Just because it's the midfielders, they can do just what the defenders can do too. This is just pretty spectacular, boys. The ball is looking like it has to go in. And if it doesn't go in, it's gonna bounce off the post, hit him and go in. Somehow, this dude turns into a wizard. Manages to clear the ball, jump over the ball, and get it away all in the same move. Like, it is incredible. How did the ball not just come off the post, hit him, and go in? Because somehow he jumps over the ball, does a bit of breakdance in midair, does like a kung fu kick, and clears it. It's mind blowing. It's almost like something that you would see on FIFA. It looks like a guaranteed goal. Ball got to come off the post, hit him. He's going to get his feet muddled up and it's going to go in the back of the net. Not when this guy's around. No, he jumps over the ball, break dances and clears the ball. How do people get away with this sort of stuff? It's blowing my mind. And it continues to blow my mind because big black Igor will bum your mum if you give him even a slight bit of cheek. Look at the size of his head. He's got one of those lines going through his head as well. So you know he's a road man. You know you're catching a slap. Don't chat shit to Igor, bro. A penalty is taken. Yes, the keeper makes a six save. Yes, he makes a second save, but Eagle out of nowhere. Holy shit. Black man powers, I told you. He backflipped the ball out of the net. Oh, goodness gracious me, that was incredible. The keeper made a double save, and then Eagle comes out of nowhere and does a backflip to save the ball off the line. Wow. This is what football is all about, mate. Putting your neck on the line to stop that ball going over. Woo. I don't even know what sort of kung fu kick that was to keep the ball up from going in, but it worked. And it was bloody well impressive. Jesus, Igor, you're decent. Fair play. But you've got to see this. You've got to see this. Mateu, pretty sure this went down in the French League. This is absolutely mad. Like, this is the definition of a mad thing goal line clearance. You decide if it goes in or not. I don't even know. I don't even care. In fact, I don't think he cares either. All he, all he cares about is the fact that he put his neck on the line, he did his best, and he managed to clear the ball. This is how you French men are doing it, yeah? Okay. So this is a guaranteed goal. No! He saves it once, gets back up, saves it again, gets back up. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. Like, surely the ball has to go in the back of the net. He saves it once, gets up, saves it again. Oh! Someone give this guy a medal. What the fuck did he have for breakfast this morning? I don't know. Is he on drugs? I'm going to also have to drug test him because that is some absolute ridiculousness. Ridiculousness? Ridiculous. Ridiculousness. Wow. Has to be one of the best you've seen in the team today. He made a double goal line clearance. When do you ever see that? A double goal line clearance. Then the keeper come out of nowhere and superman the ball away as well. Next up is a goalkeeper. Sometimes you have to rely on your goalkeeper. Because your defenders ain't there. You, you, you know your strikers ain't there. Your midfielders ain't there. No one's there. You've just got to rely on yourself in between those sticks. And Adam Collins shows what a double save is all about. This guy's a 62 rated keeper, by the way. And he's making goal line saves like this. The English divisions are scrappy. He makes a crazy save. Then he makes a double save and a third save. Holy shit. I just shit the bed. How did he just do that? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He just made a triple. I'm off. 
I'm off. Oh my god. Oh my god. He just made a triple save, by the way. And he's a 62 rated keeper, by the way. We've got to move on in Subatic. Yes, Subatic. You know that guy who does not look like a footballer. In fact, he looks more like Johnny Depp. He looks like someone who should be on Pirates of the Caribbean, not playing centre back for Brushy Dortmund. For who's he at now? You're going to have to tell me. For bloody. Uh, ASSE. I don't know. He looks like he could be a painter. He looks like someone who collects. I don't know, toenails or something. I don't know, I don't know. But he just doesn't look like someone who I would say was a standard stereotypical footballer. Either way, he is. And he makes big saves. Big goal line clearances. So don't ever take the piss out of him and don't ever play on him or sleep on him. Like I just did. Because he's sick. Bayern Munich versus Dortmund. Oh my god, Super Teacher, I know it makes that. Oh god damn. Oh god damn. Yes. Yes, Super Teach. It looked like a guaranteed goal. Not only was the ball straight across the back, there was Robin coming running in back post. How that didn't go in, how he made that was incredible. So like I said, don't ever sleep on this guy. Don't ever take the piss out of him because he looks like Johnny Depp. Because he can do that. And then finally to complete the squad builder, we've obviously got Zlatan Ibrahimovic. If you haven't seen his goal line clearance, he's one of the only strikers I've ever seen do one. Today you're going to witness it. For a start, what Zlatan is even doing on the line, I don't know. But to make a goal line clearance like that, mate, the defenders should be proud of him. Look at that. That was mad. When the hell do you see Zlatan on the line making saves like that? Can we give him a round of applause? If you're watching this, please, give him a round of applause. That was sick. Today you have witnessed one of the bravest squad builders on FIFA. You could go and literally make this team and probably win a few games, even with 30 chemistry. Because these are the bravest bunch of cunts I've ever seen in my life.